Hi, I'm Natasha. This is Always Be Crafting, and today is Saturday, and on Saturdays I sew. But honestly, I'm doing a lot of cleaning today and a lot of work in a lot of other things too. I've been up since, gosh, or a little after seven. I got up before seven, but I've been down in the basement since a little after seven. I got my vaccine yesterday. I feel a little garbagey. <laughs> I got the double vaccine, the flu and the COVID. My arm really hurts and my tummy's really wonky. My husband also got his double vaccine yesterday. He's in bed. He is not doing well. It hit him like a ton of bricks. I'm afraid it's gonna hit me like a ton of bricks, so I'm just trying to do as much as I can do between now and whenever. I have a big work day tomorrow. I work on Sundays. And um, so today is just get it all done. My workspace in the basement is chaos, total chaos. Last time I filmed down here was Thursday after doing another day of shop hopping and everything is still here, completely covering my workspace, all my fabric, all my um, tchotchkes, pattern pieces, it's, it's a mess. It's a total mess. I was doing vinyls on boards this morning because I do that. It's not really a side hustle. It's something I have vinyl cutters, like I have Cricut machines and I love making stickers primarily, but I can cut vinyl and I have a ton of vinyl because I used to do a lot of vinyl cutting as a hobby a couple years ago. So I still have a huge supply and one of my friends who is a yoga teacher and she runs these baby sensory classes uh, baby toddler yoga mommy me awesome classes she does parties like these big events every month or every month and a half or so where she tries to do these memory boards for the families where the kids do their handprints or their footprints and she puts them onto like those flat canvases, those canvas boards. So the families have these mementos. And what we usually do is she provides me the boards and then I will have a funny saying on it and um, vinyl cut and put them on the boards for her. So it's October, did I say that? It's October 19th currently, Saturday, October 19th. And so I'm preparing boards that say boo, on them. They're blackboards. The vinyl is like a silver sparkle. And then the kids will have their feet, I think, painted white, put on upside down to make little ghosts. It'll be really cute. She does it every year and it's adorable. Parents love it because it's this awesome keepsake. And babies are constantly growing. So she does it, like I said, every month or two. In um, some Some parents do it get like seven of them and some parents only get one or two based on the ages of the children and which events they can go to. So I love having the opportunity to help her provide this for the parents. I know that if I had had that when my kids were little, I would have been in hog heaven. I absolutely would have done it every time, but that wasn't a thing when my kids were babies. I wish it was. I do have like some handprint footprint stuff, but, um, it was harder back then. I don't know. No one made it easy where I could just go to an event and someone was there ready to, you know, paint their feet, give me the baby wipes and just do it for me. Oh, that would have been heaven. That would have been heaven. I think that's what we do. Like my friend Kimberly and I, I think we're providing things for children, moms and caregivers, dads, everyone, and their babies that we didn't get when we were moms with babies, like now our kids are grown, and um, things that we wanted that it was really hard to do when you're so tired taking care of toddlers and babies and infants and just that kind of exhaustion you feel. <sighs> Anyways, that's what I think of when I do my music classes. Like, how can I support these parents, these grandparents, these caregivers? How can I support them? Because I know how tiring this is. It's wonderful. It's lovely, but it's tiring. All right, enough of that. It's crafting time. So I'm gonna turn the camera around because you don't need to look at this chaos. Cause like I said, I got my vaccines yesterday. I'm not feeling my greatest. My tummy is off. And the idea of like showering and brushing my hair this morning, I was not gonna make it. <laughs> it just wasn't, it was not in the cards. So 
oh my gosh, did you hear that? My tummy just went, Rawr. oh, okay. Um, I'll turn the camera around and it's going to start with cleaning. I got to get my, all my new fabric folded onto my fabric boards. So for organizing, and you can even see behind me, I'm running out of space. Like, oh, my house is such a mess. My craft space is such a mess because it's been such a busy couple of months between school starting and the Jewish high holidays. Such a mess. And I'm still working on my slow along, my bag for my slow along. I have to do that. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll sew something. Fingers crossed I get to sew something because it's Saturday and on Saturdays I sew. Fingers crossed it's not just a cleaning day. Thank you for being here. I know I'm talking a mile a minute because I think I'm afraid if I don't talk a mile a minute, I'm gonna have to run to the restroom. I don't know. I don't know what my body's gonna do today. Thank you for being here. Please like, please subscribe. Please tell your friends. Please watch other videos where I'm not recovering from getting a vaccine the day before. And hopefully I'm a little bit more, co more coherent, hopefully. And I hope you like what you see. I hope I edit together something good for you to watch. That's my goal. Again, thank you. I cannot thank you enough for just watching this and comment, give me ideas. Tell me if you, if you see something that I'm obviously missing in my craft space that you're like, have you thought of blah, 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 please tell me because I think I'm a little overwhelmed right now and I need, I'm on like this organizational like hunt and I've been moving in the right direction, but it's like peeling an onion where I got the top layer off and now I'm on the inside and it's making me cry. It's just making me cry, but I'm not going to give up. I got to get to the center. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I got to do it. I'm blabbing. I'm blithering. I'm editing. Natasha's going to hate this. Thank you.